Hi there, my name is Ron Rogers, and this presentation is titled, Pull Too Many G's and the Wings Come Off. You can see from the picture there. Actually, it's a continuation of a previous presentation I did about Grounded from Aerobatics, uh, Great Lakes Center Section Repair Update. Now, I did a presentation, uh, I was up at Oshkosh, and I found out the first day that they came out with the service bulletin, they've had some issues with cracks in the ribs, and they said don't perform aerobatics, and I was livid. And the fun thing about being up at Oshkosh was the CEO was present, so I could uh, talk to him about it. But they're handling it very well, and this is an amazing company. And, you know, you look at that picture there, um, you could eat off the floor of their shop. You don't want to, because they have a really nice cafeteria, uh, restaurant actually upstairs, not a cafeteria, it's a restaurant. It's really, really good food, uh, very popular. Uh, hard to get a place at times. Um, but yeah, the the uh, factory work area there is, is just wonderful. But let's talk about uh, this process now. They, they had some issues with cracks in the rib section, and I found out that... Um, all right, I'm 73 years old. I, I went up to the limits, you know, of, of, of the G limits, um, but apparently I didn't do it enough to crack the ribs. But anyway, they have a fix there that they're incorporating in, so it's too late. Hopefully it, it, uh, I won't get, be given that opportunity again. But there's quite a bit involved in doing this. I just figured they'd pop that little center section out and uh, fix the ribs and go on their way. Well, it's not quite that easy. There's a lot of disassembly required. Okay. And they got to take a lot of things off on this thing because they can't just pop that center section out. So they get the aircraft in a jig here. They prop up uh, the wings. They start removing all the flying wires and landing wires too. They're flying and landing wires. And uh, it's it's quite a process there. And uh, fortunately, the company is, is covering the cost of this. Uh, there they are, re, uh, removing the uh, the struts and that. And now they're removing uh, the wings, one by one, four wings. That's the added uh, safety factor there, not just simple two wings like on some aircraft. I've got four wings. All right, here's the center section. Here's your spars there. There's your uh, um, ribs there, the metal ribs. They've taken the fuel tank out. And there's another uh, view of it. Now, the original Great Lakes had an issue with center section cracking, and they resolved the issue supposedly by putting in this uh, bit of plywood there to reinforce it. But, you know, that can be good and bad. Sometimes when you do that, you shift load uh, loads to other places, and now you got a problem somewhere else. Well, that's apparently what may have happened here because they had a problem with the ribs. And they got the FAA to approve their fix. Here's a look at the uh, the bottom of the uh, center section with the um, uh, the plywood there. You can see the beautiful workmanship. And here's another view of the top. And here's another view of its in process. They have a another uh, center section behind me there. Of course, they have a number of these to do. And there's the fuel tank. They've uh, replaced the ribs. They're getting ready to put the fuel tank back in. Another view of it. And of course, here is the uh, wing tank uh, back placed in there. You can see a little bit of the uh, uh, the fuel leak issue I had with, uh, with this thing. Um, I'm sure they clean that off later. There's the fuel tank again. You can see on the right side of the picture, you can see the, uh, the, the filler uh, valve position. And there's the uh, bottom side with the uh, the drains coming out of the fuel tank. Another view of it. There's the top side again. Now they're doing the covering. And there's the covering, and that's uh, that's quite a uh, quite an interesting process. There, there's a lot of very Highly skilled people involved in doing in doing this whole process, and of course, there's the uh, the attachment points. And here we are. 
if I wanted to go out and fly, I'd have to really get a lot of speed up because I'd have to get all the lift off the body. So, of course, I'm in Illinois. Uh, that's in Michigan, Battle Creek. Uh, don't do a lot of uh, flying in the wintertime, although the weather has been quite nice lately. But uh, it's sitting there. Uh, they're going to get the thing uh, uh, through the paint shop. That's the uh, the next point here. There's a little bit of backed up right now. But it'll get through the uh, the paint shop. And then they'll have to reassemble the whole thing and do, uh, obviously, a, a re-rig it and flight test. And then I'll, I'll also do an annual. And I'll pick it up in the spring and be back in operation. So that's the story of the center section modification to the Great Lakes biplane. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for viewing.